The only reason we attach reins to a horse's mouth is to be able to control the life down through his feet. And yet so many times, people aren't thinking about what the horse is doing with his feet. So they'll actually inadvertently reward the horse for maybe different flexions or positions that he might put his head and neck in that has no relationship to his feet whatsoever because they don't feel what the feet are doing. And I'm thinking all the way to the ground when I ride a horse. Yes, there's a certain position that I might want his head and his neck and his rib cage in, but it has to be in concert with what he's doing with his feet. And so many times, people don't think of what's happening at the ground. So when I tell people, get to the feet, that's where it ends up, is at the horse's feet. And sometimes they'll say, well, I can't stop him. I'll say, well, no wonder, because he maybe puts his head down, arches his neck a little bit, and you never got a change in his feet, and then you let go anyway. So you basically said, if you'll just do that with your neck and just keep right on going forward, there isn't any need for you to respond with your feet because in fact you responded to the horse positively for him not giving you his feet. None of it is so complicated the average person can't wrap their brain around it. It's just that you have to have feel and timing, but you have to have precision. And that is where the experience part comes in. It takes some time.